I just wanted to show you a new product I got. Um, I've been buying oh canned air for a long time. In fact, I think I just threw one away yesterday. Hold on. I just threw away this uh, canned air yesterday because, well, no more canned air in it. And I can't tell you how many canned air products I've gotten over the years that just they don't last very long and if you spray for too long you know blow off a, a dusty area or 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 sawdust or whatever uh, you start freezing your hand and the finger up here gets really cold because this uh really starts freezing up here well the other day i saw uh, I was looking for canned air and I saw this product on Amazon and it comes with a nozzle and it's rechargeable and I, I guess it's good for a long time and uh, what it does is you can uh, just uh, once you've got it charged up you can press on this trigger and it does exactly what the uh, canned air does not quite as strong but strong enough to blow dust away uh it's it's because the nozzle's not quite as narrow as the uh, little uh tube that you get with the uh, canned air but it's good enough to do what i have to do is clean off my uh, clay occasionally if i get sawdust on it or something like that you don't want to have sawdust mixed in with your clay but anyway, this uh, air duster, this uh, op Opaler, 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 Oper, Opaler. That's, I, it, I can't pronounce that name. Any, anyway, it's Opaler. I got it on Amazon for just under, well, it's a low 50s. It's good enough for what I need. But I just thought I'd let you see this because I know some of you do some carpentry work and stuff like that, and you're using canned air to get the... Uh, of course, you've probably got an air hose in your, in your, in your place. So, I don't. Uh, so, this is the next best thing. All right. Time to get busy sculpting and quit talking. Bye. Time to play with some clay. By the way, that uh, duster comes with another nozzle with uh, a brush on the end, on the uh, business end, uh, for uh, cleaning out off your uh, keyboard. That's I did that last night on my keyboard because, I mean, you looked under a strong, uh, at my keyboard under a strong light, you see all the dust and everything. It was pretty disgusting. <laughs> But that cleaned it off really good. Anyway, somebody also commented uh, yesterday, uh, or today actually, on my video about this uh, steer, this uh, longhorn. And they said that uh, it is not a bull. I've been calling it a bull. Well, not yet. I haven't put the parts on it yet to make it a bull. But uh, that's coming. I'm just taking it one step at a time. All right, I may have the uh, division between muscles here a little too thick. I mean, too deep. It uh, stands out too much. Um, so I'm going to fill that in just a little bit.
Well, all of a sudden, the bull has gained its bull parts. And if, for those of you who are observant, we'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to start working on the head of the bull and uh, see how far I can get with that. I had to reposition the clay so that I can get under this part. The uh, pose of the, the uh, bull <coughs> is the head down and tilted, and there's just no way I could get in that angle to see what I was doing, so I had to angle the bull so I can see his uh, head a little more clearly on this side. Kind of build up the horns a little bit. Oh. All right, I've got them put together just to see what it looks like. I'm going to start working on the horse. I'm going to. I've taken the. The uh, long horn, as far as I'm going to be able to take it right now without losing my mind. And I got to start working on the horse and uh, the rider. Uh, working on the horse is going to involve uh, doing a saddle and uh, making that saddle from scratch. And I'm going to have to figure how I'm going to do that. I've got to uh, build me a, a rig so that I can do that on. Anyway... I think it's looking pretty good. I, I like the design. I think it's going to look good when it's all done. And uh, the cowboy's on there. And his actions uh, are just going to add to everything. All right, everyone. That's going to be it for tonight. And uh, we'll come back next time. I'm not sure when. Um, I've got a couple of days I'm going to be working on other things. Uh, so it'll probably be next week. Next week, I'm going to have to go and unload my molds that I've still got in the back of my van. And uh, that's going to be fun. But, uh, <sighs> I'm liking what's good, working out. I mean, the, the Longhorn turned out better than I thought it was going to. I really sweated that one. All right, everybody. Good night, and I'll see you next time.
If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.